Hey frog heads and fragrance lovers, welcome back. Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Channel, and I'm not joking around. Vetiver's a big deal, lots of people like vetiver. Vetiver is a thing that people really love, and there's a cult following behind this fragrance. And I can absolutely say with it, with confidence that this is one of the best vetiver fragrances on the market. And it's also a fragrance that can help you gentlemen and you men out there smell like a million bucks. So this is one of those fragrances. Let's talk about why this fragrance is so good, what's going into this fragrance, and the performance, the compliment, the price and all those things so this is a beautiful fragrance I already said that but once again I can't tell you how many times that how good this is a beautiful melange of citrus is what you get off the top the citrus is a very well done here but the citrus is um, you know quickly kind of go into the mid and the heart of the fragrance of what this is all about but I do want to you know tell y'all that there's a beautiful freshness that immediately hits you off the top and then it quickly envelops and, and dives into the heart of the fragrance the citruses here do last for a good long while I think there's an exotic lemon and a, an exotic orange and there's really a lot of high quality ingredients going in here so it's absolutely high quality and it's absolutely an outstanding fragrance. It's, uh, you know, just from the citruses alone, pretty impressed. And then in the heart of the fragrance, it's all about the vetiver, but there's more going on here. But we do have to highlight the vetiver because that's probably the biggest point of this fragrance, the biggest aspect, and it does it very, very well. I would describe this as more of a bourbon vanilla, but there's this is a multifaceted vetiver. There's a lot of di dynamic uh, kind of nuances to it. It's not overtly aggressive. It's not overtly earthy. It's not fresh and green. I would describe it more as a bourbon vanilla. It has a unique richness. It almost has a patchouli-like quality to this vetiver, and it does almost want to go boozy. It doesn't have the freshness of booziness, but it almost has the feeling of it. And I find that quite unique and amazing that the quality and the, you know, this, the qualities of coming through with this vetiver. There's a lot of beautiful supporting notes. There's a little geranium, uh, you know, supporting it. There might be some lavender. There's some a uh, little bit of florals, but not a lot supporting this fragrance there's a little bit of spices some cinnamon and some nutmeg and you do get a little bit of vanilla and in the dry down and some leathery touches to this fragrance very well composed very nice fragrance that's classy and refined upscale gentleman's fragrance for certain if you this that makes you feel like you're well put together and that you have the money and that you're willing to show that you have the money at least in my opinion that's how this fragrance smells like i would not underdress wearing this fragrance i would not dress, uh, dress casually and honestly i don't even know if i feel comfortable to wear this fragrance at my age i'm still in my late 20s and um this fragrance not that it smells old but that it smells very refined and very well to do this is how i would expect a millionaire to smell like along with uh, dia man uh, by amouage or even uh you know private label by javoy those are fragrances that just smell like pure class and they smell like money uh, so this fragrance here outstanding fragrance release might sound a little bit simple to y'all because just citrus in the opening and this just a unique vetiver and then some classic masculine vibes and some leather you got to smell it to believe it the quality of the notes really stand out in this fragrance there is some complexity there's more to it than that i'll include a, a you know where you can look up this fragrance there is more going into this one but um i just wanted to keep it simple with the main accords and mostly what you're going to smell in this fragrance but absolutely pure class guys Ladies and gents, absolutely stunning fragrance. Does have a little bit of that classic DNA uh, to this fragrance that so many people look forward to. There is a tiny bit of animalics and a sensuality in the base, but this fragrance really isn't all about the animalics, but there is some of that going on here that uh, for some people might end up having the fragrance smell dirty in the dry down uh, as the fragrance really progresses. Overall, it smells classy and refined, and it does end up smelling sensual, especially with the an tiny animalic touches, or some of those animalic touches, and the vanilla and the sandalwood in the dry down. So, absolutely stunning creation here. There is some rose. Um, I do want to mention that because a lot of gentlemen probably will look at the notes and see that there's rose. To me, rose is not a big player here at all. You really can't notice it as a note. It doesn't leap out. It doesn't overpower the composition. And uh, that's not what this fragrance is about. But uh, I did want to mention that as a fragrance note. Getting into the performance, this will not disappoint you. This is an 8, 9, 10 hour plus fragrance. Absolutely. Projection, I wouldn't say is beast mode, but it's above average. Um, 
you know for super super fancy events the fanciest of events i don't even know if i would wear this honestly it is it doesn't it's not overtly rugged it's very classy and you could certainly wear it if you have a big personality but i almost would want to wear something more subtle this one um, is certainly above average in performance one or two sprays will certainly do you for a fancy evening or a fancy occasion and i think that there are fancier fragrances out there if i was to describe somebody who would wear this fragrance i would I could imagine that this would be a, a, a guy, again, a very refined individual, a very well-to-do gentleman, but somebody who's maybe a little bit rugged around the edges. Maybe he's a rancher who's made it big, uh, you know, Bonanza style, and has a big old ranch and a thousand cows. Uh, maybe, you know, uh, you know, I don't know, a very, an architecture, somebody who goes out there uh, and uh, kind of works, but still very refined and classy and an upstale, uh, upstanding uh, gentleman. Uh, this is a fragrance to me more for the a little bit more of the working gentleman or maybe more for the rugged well-to-do kind of man so absolutely still has class but it has a rugged quality about it and that's that's gets us into the compliment factor with the performance it has good sillage people could definitely notice it and people can pick up on this and this one demands respect when people smell it they definitely want to stand up straight and they know and they definitely know that you're a boss a boss of something and and that's what I want to talk about with the compliment factor. I didn't get a lot of compliments wearing this, but uh, I, when I people looked at me, just like with some of my fragrances that I say are classy and respectable and outstanding creations, uh, like that uh, in the way of uh, gentlemanly refined fragrances, this one definitely got people's attention and people knew that uh, that there was quality behind this fragrance and there's also a beautiful citrus off the top that makes this uh, pretty approachable and it's not too deep or strange or unusual and it has some of that classic uh, type of DNA, that classic manly type of smell to it and the animalics always smell outstanding and classy but also, you know, they demand attention as well in their own way, a sensuality in the base of this fragrance. Again, with that vanilla and the sandalwood, that combo that I love so much in the dry down. So outstanding fragrance release. I think it's uh, well, you know, deserves the respect. The original is great too. Maybe I, sh I, I have talked about it in the past. Perhaps I'll do a full length review of the original, but to me that one's a little bit more laid back, a little bit more focused on like more of a black pepper and almost like a leather vibe to it. This one really brings vetiver to me more to the forefront and really this is the better fragrance if you're looking for vetiver and also citruses uh, this is an outstanding again fragrance release so people pick up on the quality even though they might not understand fragrances very well you might not encounter a fragrance that smells like this every day uh, they know that there's quality and they know what the, how this fragrance feels and what it represents so a compliment factor uh, you know people will you will get you respect and it will get the uh, positive attention in a good way um, talking about this fragrance and the price tag of my final thoughts I think for some people again I think this is probably for 30 plus uh, year old gentlemen or uh, maybe 35 I think that you have to feel like you have the money I think you have to dress up uh, and uh, this is a fragrance that uh, is really for the vetiver lovers even though I think this is a really good blend of citrus and I think it's more wearable than a num uh, quite a few vetiver fragrances I still think that it has some of this old world old school gentlemanly qualities about it that uh, make this fragrance more perhaps uh, for you know a well again well-to-do respectable strong kind of gentleman um, this fragrance here very well done the price is kind of high it's going to scare a lot of people away this one will be four hundred dollars about plus uh, depending on where you get it and what size bottle you get uh, but uh, i think that if you are again that kind of guy who has the money uh, you know works you know and gets it you know does something with his hands and also you know well to do I think this is a fragrance that you could love and that you could get behind they don't make fragrances like this every day with this amount of quality and the composition and also that I feel comfortably you could wear this uh, pretty you know in everyday situations if you dress the part you know, and it's not too posture classy. I think that it would be off-putting, but it definitely makes you smell like a million bucks in a in a rugged way. And I find that that's a great thing because you don't see that all the time. You don't smell that all the time. So that's a I think a quite a nice uh, creation and a thing to this fragrance. So overall, outstanding release. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you know about Kanai's Tin Gold? Did you know there was a cult following behind it? Do you like vetiver fragrances? Have you tried this one? Uh, this one will be a holy grail for a lot of some a number of people. Uh, this. This is up there in the quality and 
deserves the respect up there with Cuba Gantz of Fougere Royale. Really does. It's one of the well, a pretty, a fairly wearable and outstanding, well, com, you know, composed fragrance of made of excellent quality and ingredients. So, uh, I hope that you enjoyed my review today. Please support me down below. You know how to do that, and I'll catch you on the next video, my friends. Peace out, everybody. I'll see you next time, and bye.